Luke chapter 17, 1 and 2. Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause people to stumble are bound to come, but woe to anyone through whom they come. It would be better for them to be thrown into the sea with a millstone tied around their neck than to cause one of these little ones to stumble. So watch yourselves. Wow. That's some powerful language, some tough talk from Jesus. And he knows exactly what this is about because he is God and he knows what happens to people that intentionally cause little ones, those who are weak and defenseless, to stumble and fall. He says it'll happen. But woe to those through whom it comes through. And he says, so watch it. Make sure you're not one of those. Does this verse apply to you who are responsible for children who are divorced and have strong feelings toward your ex? And you want your children to feel the same way you do. The problem is you're causing them to stumble. You know, they want to believe in their father, and they want to believe in their mother, and they want to love them. They want that freedom. When I was a child, that freedom was taken from me. I wasn't allowed to love my mother. And it's been very hard, almost impossible to talk about this. I wrote a song about this, and I've tried to do this uh, commentary a couple times but uh, I was just too overwhelmed with it but I, I feel like I can do it now and, and tell you a little bit of what happened to me um, when my parents split up um, I was taken from my mom but worse than that the love towards my mother was taken from me and I was commanded to hate my mother literally brainwashed uh, over a period of time so this mother I once dearly loved was now considered an enemy and if I felt love towards my mom I was uh, and expressed it I would be reprimanded for it. Uh, it was a very difficult time. Um, when I went to see my mom uh, of course uh, she had bitterness towards uh, my father's uh, new girlfriend at the time and so she wanted me to hate her, uh, hate my dad uh, so, then, you know, my brother had his opinions on whom I should love and whom I should hate. My parents' friends, whom I meet, had their opinions on who I should love, who I should hate. Um, my father was pretty well known, so it didn't take long till you met someone. It was tough. I was little. I didn't know who to believe. My head was going in different directions until somebody walked into my life and straightened the whole mess out. He told me about love and he told me about hate. He told me to love everybody. He told me I was free, free to love my mom. And it was my right. <laughs> I was free to love my mother and I was free not to hate anybody. His name is Jesus. And Jesus became my new parent. Jesus is both mother and father to me. He told me to forgive those that embittered my heart and to love them and to pray for them and to remind me through this word that I've shared with you that they will receive what is just. And it's sad. But Jesus Christ became the truth. He took away all the confusion. And you can imagine how confused I was. He took away all the bitterness. I had to actually express that bitterness publicly at times, and it's beyond what I can share here with you today, but it, it got really serious. Hate was literally sewn into my heart, and I, I became a spokesman for hate as a young child. But Jesus commanded me to stop the hate and to set me free from the hate. He gave me my freedom back. So the love that was taken from me was made again toward my mother because of Jesus Christ. No matter how hard they tried, no matter how convincing they were, Jesus said, love your mother and love your father and love your stepmother and love all those whom they told you to hate. 
Maybe you're in that spot right now where you just want to build that kind of alliance with your child and build that unhealthy relationship of hate toward your ex because of what they did to you. Well, stop it. Just quit it. Think of what Jesus just said. Think about what he said is coming to those who corrupt children. And that's what it is. It's actually corruption. It's robbing them of their rights and their freedoms. I have the right to say that. I've lived through it. I've survived. Many people didn't survive. Jesus Christ allowed me to survive so I could speak to you about this today. Maybe you're the child who's needing that freedom. Well, let me tell you, Jesus is giving you that freedom today. He's giving you that full freedom to love both your mother and your father, to love your step-parent. Freedom to walk away from hate. You know, that hate will destroy you. It creates mental stress. It creates all kinds of problems. I believe it causes addictions. It, the ripple effects of hatred are so deep, it can kill a person. Don't let it kill you. You know, I think when all this was being done to me, the people that were a little short-sighted and didn't realize that I'd grow up one day and have a mind of my own to make my own decisions. And that did happen. You can make that decision today for yourself. If you're a parent, your children will grow up and they'll remember what you're doing to them. Just stop it. When I talk about Jesus, I'm talking to you about the one that saved me, emotionally, mentally, physically. This is not a religion for me. He's what saved me from a horrible, horrific childhood. That's why I'm here today talking to you. I'm telling you the other side of Jesus. He talks tough sometimes because he cares about children. Some of you are going to have to learn how to build a relationship with your spouse that does not evolve around hatred toward your ex. Some of you are married right now and you need to get rid of the hatred toward your spouse and forgive them through the power of Jesus Christ so that you don't end up in a spot where you think that divorce is going to solve the hate problem and then pass it on to your child. Get rid of it right now. Get rid of it right now. Forgive as Christ is willing to forgive you or has already forgiven you if you've confessed your sins. What a wonderful testimony to tell you that on the other side of this camera is my son who is operating the camera and the audio and putting this together and helping send this message to you today. The very opposite of what was sent to me. So God will restore, God will heal in one generation. If you put your faith in Christ, He can reverse the curse. He can bring order to your disorder. He can heal your heart and cause a brand new heritage to begin. So, I encourage you today to stop the confusion. Listen to Jesus. Stop corrupting your child's mind. Give them the freedom and the human right to love. That's a basic human right that nobody should be taking. I mean, this isn't talked about a lot amidst the world that talks about their rights. Well, it's a child's right to love their parents. So don't take it from them. Don't take it from her anymore. Thank you.